So this is a calculator unboxing, as it were. Um, I recently showed you the Rapid Man 800, and that was a really cool looking calculator. It looked awesome on the inside. This one, not so much. It looks more awesome on the outside than the inside. So this is a Commodore calculator, and Commodore were famed for making them cheap and selling them quite cheaply. <laughs> so um, they made really, really simple cut down products. And this is one of them. This is a Commodore Minuteman series 1976 calculator. That's when this one came out. Comes in its box, got lovely, beautiful Commodore logo stuff on it. I mean, it's not beautiful, but to me, it's retro gorgeous, really. We've got the calculator itself. This is the Commodore 796M. It says so on the back. Commodore model 796M, we've got a serial number here. Um, it doesn't say the date on here, but we can open it up. Solid state, portable. I didn't know you could get, maybe there are um, ones with valves in, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is, this is the calculator and it works. I've put a battery in, so you'll be able to see that uh, display there. Uh, Someone told me I have to do one divided by nine equals 0 0.11111 and then times that by nine. And that is 0 0.9999999. So it's, all, it's, it's about a test for um, floating point accuracy. So we're losing a little bit there anyway. But you know, it's fine. I'm happy with this kind of a calculator. Just, you know, if I wanted to figure out the what's my my circuit is drawing or or whatever you know I can just use this thing plus usually it's only for simple things like how old is this calculator if it came out in 1976 oh no I've put divided by I meant minus 1976 equals 41 years old so it is working but I wanted to open it up so we can have a little look about uh, how it works or what the uh, what the thing's like. So I've already taken out um, the two screws on the back because they're, they're getting quite rounded off and I wanted to be really careful about it, but I didn't want to video it because it just would have been a proper chore to watch. So let's, um, let's just pop this. In fact, I probably need to take the battery cover off first. Let's pop the back off. There we go. And this is what we're greeted with. It's quite incredible, really. We've just got this one IC. This is the 3D98. Now, I tried to look up some information on the 3D98. In fact, it's actually upside down, isn't it? On the 3D98, but I couldn't find very much on it. Um, what I was particularly interested in is how the devil uh, is it running this display here <laughs> with all of those pins on, but also matrixing the keypad down here. Um, I have pulled this keypad out. It's a real pain to get out, so I'm not doing it again. Um, I didn't video it the first time, but I couldn't see another chip on the other side. This is just, um, you know, those HP bubble jets. It's kind of a bit like that, these displays here. So they are, uh, they're seven segment displays, but they've got a bubble of plastic or some similar uh, material on the top. So yeah, it's an interesting one, but it's not particularly, um, fascinating in terms of the electronics that's in here. It's just a single chip and there aren't resistors floating about anywhere. There are no diodes that I can see. So it's kind of a boring one, but it does look freaking cool, doesn't it? So let's just pop it all back together. I should have done it with a battery in really, but say la vie. I would love to know if you guys have any, what models, old electronic calculators you have, if you've got any at all. I'd love to know. I don't know why this isn't going back together now. How frustrating. There we go, that's it back together. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to know what um, old electronic calculators you have, if any, or if you've got any mechanical calculators. You know those ones where you pull a big lever and it gives you the answer? Those are fascinating to me. Um, I'm sure I watched, I got really carried away recently. Someone sent me a link to, uh, what is it, number file, I think it was and where they do unboxings of calculators. Well, I fell down a real YouTube black hole that day. Um, I just found loads of calculators, mechanical and otherwise. Um, 
I think Tecmoan had an old calculator thing as well, which is like a tube calculator. They're just loads and they're fascinating. I just need a simple one for my desk or I don't really need it because I've got that stupid solar one, but they're cool, aren't they? So I'm happy enough. Da, 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 da. Still works, thankfully. It's beautiful. And uh, it's, a, it's a privacy calculator because you, you can't see what's on the display until you look at it from the right angle. Oh, what was the thing? Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can remember. Three, one, no. Five, one, three. Okay, so it's eight, oh, oh, eight, five, one. Eight, oh, oh, eight. One, three, five. Oh no, I'm doing it, <laughs> doing it the wrong way. So it's five one three. No, three one five B. I mean eight O oh, O oh, eight. No, okay, I can't do it. I give up. <laughs> anyway, it's only a quick video just to show you this thing. I'm not going to go into massive depth on it. Uh, I just thought you'd like to see that I pick one up that works.